as a woman in pediatric surgery, a lot of girls and other women have asked me, you know, well, how did you decide to do this and should I do this for my, uh, for my life? And I've always, since I was eight years old, the first thing I remember when I was asked, what do you want to do when you grow up, was I want to be a doctor. And then when I went to medical school and when I did my surgery rotation, I fell in love with surgery. I just really like being in a, a career where I can see a problem, I can identify that problem, and I can fix it. And uh, they can go home feeling better than they did when they walked in the door. And we do almost everything now minimally invasive. So we can do surgeries on newborn babies, minimally invasive, uh, f to correct congenital issues. So one of the things that I have brought recently is actually what's called single site laparoscopic surgery, where we do everything through one incision and we put all the ports through one incision. So when you're done, it's really scarless surgery because the scar is within the belly button. Also been very involved with some of the more complex surgeries. I did liver and kidney transplants for many years while I was at uh, DuPont in, in uh, Delaware and I uh, have a lot of expertise with liver surgery and with more complex surgeries. No matter what you do though, you know, surgery, when your child is in surgery, is very, it's a very stressful situation. And I think the best thing that we can do is to really explain things well to the family so they understand exactly what's going on step by step. You know, I've, I've got four boys and uh, three out of my four boys have had surgery. So I've been on the other side and I, I understand how hard it is to sit in that waiting room when you really don't know what's going on inside. And it's even harder when you know what's going on inside. <laughs> so, uh, so I try to, to make it as, as easy as possible. I really do believe in the motto that's on the wall downstairs that says that we treat all of their patients like they were our own. Once you have your first child, you really understand what, what those parents are going through and the stress and how they, they really have to have an enormous amount of trust in you to hand their baby over to you for, and to take them to the operating room. It's a responsibility that I take very strongly.